you're going to do donuts, you've got to do them properly, yeah? No faffing around. Oh my god, they smell amazing! Ugh. So Krispy Kreme donuts have been open since. So Krispy Kreme donuts have been open since. Ni... <laughs> so Krispy Kreme donut shop has been open since 1937, but they still haven't got a vegan donut. And I dream of being able to go and get one of those original ring donuts from Krispy Kreme. Just the just the plain one with a little bit of vanilla glaze on top. That's all I ask for. I have to say that there are many great vegan donut shops around the world, so we're not like totally missing out on donuts, but I just really want one of those ring glazed donuts from Krispy Kreme that are quite chewy but crispy on the outside. So here goes my attempt at making Krispy Kreme donuts. So I'm a bit confused anyway about Krispy Kreme because generally fried donuts, it's just a simple sweet bread recipe and that is vegan. They probably add eggs to their recipe, but you can make it without eggs. So today I'm gonna to make a simple sweet bread recipe and that is gonna form our amazing donuts. So first up what we wanna do is mix together some lukewarm milk with some vegan margarine and some vanilla extract. Now the full written recipe is on my website, so don't forget to click the link below to get the quantities and measurements. Just wanna... I do stupid things with cameras sometimes, don't I? Using the wrong type of equipment just because it looks good. So you just want that lukewarm milk to melt your vegan margarine. And to this lukewarm milk, I'm now gonna add a sachet and a half of fast active dried yeast, or you can use fresh yeast, but just double up on the quantity. I'm using about 10 grams of this, which is about a sachet and a half. So now we need to sort the dry mix. I'm using some strong white bread flour and a little bit of caster sugar for the sweetness. So I'm gonna get this into my bread mixer now with the dough hook attached. You can do this all in a mixing bowl if you want. You would just mix the sugar and the flour in a mixing bowl, then add the wet mixture. But I'm doing it in a KitchenAid because it's easier. And a pinch of salt. So the yeast is activated. I'm gonna get this wet mixture into the dry mix. let it come together. So I've just got this on medium speed and I'm gonna let it knead for about five to six minutes. And you don't want your dough to be dry. If it's dry, add a little bit more liquid. The reason I say that is because we want that liquid in the, the mixture to help these donuts rise up and go light and fluffy. If it's just really dry, the donut's gonna be really cakey and bready and too brittle and dry, basically. Okay, so my dough is lovely and kneaded. It's still sticky, but we're gonna form it into a bolt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my dough is lovely and kneaded. Now it's very sticky still, which is what we want. I'm gonna form it into a ball and put it in a bowl. Bow. 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 Yeah. Bow that I've just greased with some olive oil and let it rise for about an hour or until it's doubled in size basically and that's the time where the yeast really works its magic. Just gonna put a little bit of flour on top, cover over with a damp cloth and pop this somewhere warm but because I'm prepared I've done one already. Look at this. This is post rising. It's doubled in size. So this is my favorite part of making bread or donuts. This is so light and fluffy. It's beautiful. Anyway, before I get mesmerized by my risen dough, I'm going to get this out of the bowl on my lightly floured surface, roll it out. I'll give it a little knead, then I'll roll it out, and then it's time to cut them into the donut shapes. Oh, I love this bit. Just give it a little knead. Now, it's up to you really how thick you want your donuts. If you want them thick with two C's, then you don't have to roll them out that much. Obviously they are gonna rise, but I like them quite thin and chewy. So I'll roll them out a little bit more than this. Okay, so now you need to figure out what shape donut you're gonna do. You're just gonna do a big, or just a round donut that you can fill with cream or 
fruit puree or something like that, or jam. I'm gonna do a, a ring donut, so I've got a small and a big one. Do the big one first, like so. And then, one in the middle. And there we go, look at this. First donut is done, ready to rise up. And you've even got the dough balls on the side. Do you know what I did the other day? Rather than frying off these little bits, I rolled them up into dough again, formed them into bread rolls and baked them in the oven and it's the best like burger buns ever. So if you didn't want to fry all of this, you could roll any excess dough up into a little loaf tin if you want or into bread rolls and bake them for about 35 minutes in the oven after rising, amazing bread. Okay guys, so donuts have been cut. I love the little dough balls too. Obviously donuts, they're not an everyday thing. This is once every six months. Nah, bro, nah, that's too long, bro. <laughs> that's too long to wait for donuts. All right, okay, so once every blue moon, the donuts, you can have them once every blue moon. When's the blue moon? I don't know, too long again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> once every now and again, once okay. every two weeks. Okay, once every now and then, please be good. Have a donut, enjoy food. Food, it's about having a good relationship with it. Every now and then, celebrations make these. They're gonna be fried, okay? But if you fry them correctly, they're not gonna soak up loads of oil. They're not gonna be fatty. They'll taste quite fresh, to be honest with you. And bear in mind, you can get these in the oven, but they're gonna be more of a bread rather than a donut. So these needs are now rise for about an hour, more or less until they've doubled in size. Then we're going to start frying them in some vegetable oil, which is preheated to around 180 degrees Celsius. So the donuts have risen. I can see it. Look how fluffy. They're like little donut pillows. So the oil's heating up. Let's get these cooked off. So to test the oil is hot enough, if you're not using a deep fat fryer with a temperature gauge, just put something wooden in the oil, like a spider with a wooden handle or a wooden spoon. If bubbles form around the wood, the oil is hot enough. All right, here it goes. Gently pick up one of these fluffy pillow donuts and carefully place it in the oil. Don't drop it. Just carefully place two in at a time maximum if you're using a pan this size. And look, they're instantly expanding. We just want these to go golden, about a minute and a half on each side. I didn't expect them to rise so much, I should have got a bigger pan or just put one in at a time. Oh, there you go, look at that. Look at that. Look at them! Oh my God. Who is ready for these? All right, so you need to get them out now when they're lovely and golden, which they are. This is so exciting. And place them onto a tray lined with kitchen paper to soak up any excess oil. Look at these. Wow. Look at the thickness on that. Whew. Look at the thickness on that. I'm getting too excited for this. Okay, so whilst I am frying the rest of these donuts, my glamorous assistant, Joe, it's gonna mix together the, the icing, the glaze. So you've got some icing sugar in the bowl. He's gonna add some vanilla, some maple, and some non-dairy milk. Perfect, Joseph. I've done it before. Yeah, have you? Yeah. You used to dip, dip your digestive biscuits in there, didn't you, when you were a kid? So guys, remember you can get as creative. So remember, so remember you can get as creative. So remember you can get as creative. 
So remember, you can get as creative as you want with these donut toppings. I'm simply going for this maple glaze. Maybe in the future, I will do a whole video on toppings and fillings for these donuts. Let's see how well this video does, first of all. But I just can't wait to taste the donut with the glaze. So here it goes, let's start dipping. With the dough balls, a nice idea would be to like toss them in some vanilla or lemon sugar, or cinnamon sugar, give them a toss in that and just snack on them as a treat, of course. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know about you, but I'm very excited right now. We have maple and vanilla glazed vegan donuts, Krispy Kreme style. Can't wait to give these a taste. All right, so I got to introduce you to Tom. You may have seen him in my videos before. My best mate and assistant. Come in, Tom. He's been dying to have these donuts. You excited? So excited. All right, here it goes. All right, we've got to do a cheers. Cheers. Here it goes. Um, freaking believable. So good. Oh. That chewiness. Smashed it, guys. To be fair, you have the best job, really. I do. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it. Mmm. Texture's chewy. Texture's chewy with a crisp outside. Mm. Perfectly sweetened. Enough glaze, perfect proportions. Mm. <laughs> but flipping it, look at that aeration. 10 out of 10, try this. Mm. Right, everyone wants to try a donut on camera, come in now. All right. Well, let's get it. Let's taste. Can I taste anyone? Go ahead. Anyone? All right. Am I? Oh, look at that one. Oh. Hello. Oh, I just got to try again. Mm. Mm. So airy. Mm. It's like a pe It's like a pillow, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, bro. I feel real. I'm in heaven. I'm real. Thanks for watching. Like, share and comment my book, Plants Only Kitchen, on my website. Click the link below this video and for the full written recipe. Restaurant News is on the website too. For now, it's goodbye from me and the team. Everyone wave. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Everyone wave. Keep waving. Wave. Until I say, keep waving. Keep waving, everyone. Joe, wave. <laughs> keep waving. Keep waving. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bonuts, bow, bonuts, bow. Are you right, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go on, bro. Man, camera man now, yeah? Many talents. Oh, on my face there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is a bit scrungy. <laughs> Move your hand. Bro, you're saying scrungy. You're saying scrungy. You're a donut. It's donut. It's donut. It's donut. <laughs>